Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Yaps. My name is Yaps. And today we're going to do a quick little guide on another completionist cape requirement, the bag of herbs or herbs, depending on how you say it and where you live in the world. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about how to do this one. It's relatively simple and straightforward, but you know, sometimes seeing things in video format just helps you understand what you need to do a little bit better than reading wiki pages. So we're going to talk about how to get there, what you need to do, timetables, like how long it's going to take. And yeah, then you'll have the achievement out of the way. So let's hop into things. Alrighty, so first things first, it's an anachronia. So you'll teleport there using the lodestone. And then I will be showing you a sped up version of the run over there. You can use the agility course heading north or you can head northeast through the different big game hunter areas as well. Really whatever you prefer. So you'll eventually see this blue colored tree over here. We're gonna run over, this is the area where the mini game is held, or I guess it's more of like a distraction and diversion. Uh, you can talk to the shop here. This will be where you buy the herb bag as well as the herb bag upgrade. And if you climb down these routes, this is going to be where you will actually start it. I am assuming that you are here for the completion escape requirement and not necessarily for the XP. So I'm not really gonna talk to that though. If you want herb XP, grab the little green guys. But how you score points here, you're going to score up to 100 points. Once you hit that, you will be capped for the week. Um, you can use a weekly D&D &D reset ticket token thing. And so that's going to be how you double ultimately the speed of getting this done. So you're going to be basically just clicking these green zygomites. The gist is they're confused. They don't know what they're burning. And so you need to stop them from accidentally burning the green good herbs. And if they run in with the purple ones, as you see here, it doesn't really matter. They just burn them and that's fine. Um, sometimes they get confused though. And that's why you're trying to help them not burn the green good ones. You can also go to the edge of the room and burn purple ones as well. You'll just grab that, run to the middle and burn it yourself. That will award fire making XP instead of the uh, herb lore XP that you're getting just from clicking on these green guys. You'll pretty much just do this for, I'd say like three, four, five minutes, and then you're gonna have your 100 points saved up. If you accidentally burn a good green herb, you click on the edge of the map, right? And then you come in and burn it. Uh, you're gonna get a penalty for about 30 seconds where you get reduced points. Um, but very simple, you get a decent amount of XP here and um, that's it. Once you hit 100, you're good to go. You climb back up at the roots over here and you'll be able to buy stuff from the store or you're going to be able to use that weekly reset token and then go back in for a second game. As a reminder, to get this achievement finished, you need to get the herb bag and then the herb bag upgrade afterwards. So you're going to need to get a total of 400 points or four full games to finish this achievement. Remember, um, with the time cap, it can take up to four weeks, but if you have those weekly resets, you can get that down to two weeks. Sometimes you get lucky, you're kind of like straddling the weekly reset, you know what I mean? Like you're a day before it, you can knock out two games. Once the reset hits, you can knock out two more games. So you could get this done in a matter of hours if you were to do that method, but more likely it'll take you about a week, maybe two, to get this finished. Anyway guys, that's everything for this video. I wish you the best of luck in going for your completionist cape. It really is an awesome achievement and it's a lot of fun to go for as well. I have a full playlist of other videos as well to help you on your journey to getting the completionist cape. So feel free to check that out to see what other guides I have to hopefully speed things up, make it a bit simpler, less confusing, etc. If you found this helpful, please drop a like down below and consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next one. Have a beautiful day.